It's a brand new Eight eighteen. Derek's here. He's uh, totally blind, but uh, not blind enough that he could avoid being goat seed yeah. earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Uh, now tell us, goat seed man. Yes. That's so close to the screen. I know. I know. <laughs> if you go to his office, which you can't, uh, but it's because it's fortified, you get uh, little nose prints things on the screen. That's all I have on the screen. No fingerprints. Just nose prints. It's funny. Now, I want to give you guys uh, a little bit of uh, a bonus today. I'm going to give you the... Uh, well, hold it, hold it. Yes. I only get that with chicks. Oh, well, this this is a special one just for you. Oh, bonus. Bonus, yes. Mm. Uh, the blind homeowner review. I've been a homeowner now since... Uh, oh, I yeah. was going to say, we have Jeff come in on Tuesdays. Homeowner <laughs> right. well, review. Oh. And he can see. Yeah. So you, how long have you been in your new house? Uh, since we moved in on the 18th, we, we took possession on the 15th. Congratulations. Thank right you. on, Derek. Good Thank for you. you. Now, uh, we moved in on the eight, or, yeah, we moved in on the 18th. On the 20th, I thought to myself, I think I smell natural gas. And uh, so I called Enbridge, and they came. And sure enough, there was a little leak in our, uh, in our water heater. Mm-hmm. And I thought... And, and they fixed it. Didn't no extra cost. And I thought, all right. And, and it was kind of like uh, Apollo thirteen when they've just blasted off into space and engine five conks out, and they're a little bit worried. But then they realize that they mm-hmm. can just burn engines one, two, three, and four a little longer, and they're fine. And Tom Hanks turns to everybody and says, "Gentlemen, I think that was the glitch for this mission." Oh, right. Because yeah. um, <clears throat> Monday we did oh. the proverbial O two tankster. I came home after work uh, and made my way down to the basement to get something. Instead of stepping on hard concrete, I stepped into Lake <laughs> Shatikaka. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Your did toilet not. backed up in the basement? Oh, no. We got roots, roots in our drain. Oh. The big tree up front is just fired. It's, it's an old house. So it's like 80-year-old. <laughs> so That person who sold that house is just like... You didn't smell it first? No, it was, it was really strange. I didn't smell anything. We, I don't know. We have some extra ventilation in the basement or something, but uh, yeah. That's lots awesome. of lots of memories floating around down there. Oh, but uh, That's anyway, what I had for dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. and not just your memories either. Exactly. Is, is it carpeted Rebecca down there? No, it's dinner. just thankfully it's an unfinished base. I'd rather so. step on a landmine. Like it's <laughs> gross. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you step on any landmines there? <laughs> no, I luckily okay. a couple brushed by my uh, ankles. But, oh, uh, oh, swimmers. Like, yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> like when you're near the lake and you get brushed by a bass. Yeah. This so, one came from something. Yeah, exactly. Rhymes with bass. Go ahead. So anyway, uh, the, the guys came in. It's going to cost me fifteen grand to fix the whole thing. So, there you so go. I was feeling a little bit down about that. So I thought I need to go see. I need to go to a movie that's going to take my mind off this. And I, I figured that a, a movie with the title "Live Free" or "Die Hard" was probably a good choice. So I went uh, on Tuesday, and uh, Bruce Willis. This is the third uh, sequel to the Die Hard original movie back in 1988. Made him a big star. And uh, he's back as John McClane, 52 years old, NYPD cop, still detective. And uh, in this one, in the past, you know, he's always kind of the reluctant hero where he... Uh, you Drug know, addict he slash takes, alcoholic. Yeah, yeah. And he, but he always takes on some terrorist organization. He just happens to be in the middle of, of when it happens. And the first movie, it was a skyscraper. Second movie, airport. Third movie, major U.S. city. This one, the terrorists are taking over and laying siege to the whole U.S. of A. Oh, by oh. hacking into all the computer systems. It's called a fire sale when they take over everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, and he's paired up with uh, Justin Long, who is, uh, I guess he was in Dodgeball. He's in a, in a bunch of movies like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and together. The, do you know who he is? You know no. the Mac and PC Is he the Mac guy? He's the Mac guy. Yeah. 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 That is, okay, That's, that is great because I said, it's like he's the Mac guy and he is the Mac guy. Because well, you can't see it. You just, no, I, I just went voice. by the tone yeah. of voice. I went, this guy's, like, I thought they were trying to play him like the Mac guy. Oh. But he's, because he's Turns just out that you weren't of... actually eating popcorn at the theater, though. I don't want to tell you what you're eating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and interesting, though, face. that it had to do with computers and stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's the so thing. So what a guy to have, the Mac guy. <laughs> the Mac guy. So you had, and, Good one. And, so it's like the Mac guy paired up with Wiley Coyote because as many bullets as are fired in this film and as many rockets that are fired at John McClane, as many cars that, that, that fly and smash into him, he always gets up, kind of shakes his head and keeps going. And that's why as a blind guy, I can go through these action scenes where I don't know exactly what's going on, but I know he's going he's gonna to come out at the end. So it's kind of handy that way. But this was a, a flashback to like those great 80s action films where you know they say lots of funny things after something blows up and all that kind of stuff. And it was to the point where I was just, I was actually in my seat with the rest of the, it was a full theater, and just 
like cheering at everything, <laughs> not knowing what's going on, but just like, yeah, Boom! yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah. So, uh, so, and, and and I learned one thing. <laughs> I learned one thing about Die Hard. If you live in the world of Die Hard, you don't want to be a security guard. Okay, and oh if you are God. a security guard mm-hmm. in the Die Hard world, let's just say this is the Die Hard world. Your security, you know, you're a little fat. You know, you have your walkie-talkie and your roll of keys. You you notice there's shooting going on outside. You look out your window and you see a flying car take out a helicopter. And then suddenly people burst in. There are three things you should not say. First thing, because you will get shot. First thing is, hey, you need identification to get in here. (laughs) Second thing is, that door is restricted. Third thing is, can I help you? (laughs) And actually the bonus fourth thing is, if you are a security guard and it is your last day, and as of tomorrow, you're retiring and oh, finally getting out to see the world with the missus on a boat. Dead. Stay the hell home. Because <laughs> you will die. <laughs> but do not stay the hell home. Go see this movie. I'm going to give it four blurries out of five. Wow. And nice. that's the way I see it. It's the Blind Movie Review. Terrific. <laughs>